The surprises were twice as nice and SPS students and school leaders received big cash awards. American Sign Language courses are at tops K-8 and Roosevelt High School are connecting hearing students with their deaf and hard of hearing classmates. And it's Mental Health Awareness Month. We'll show you how Santa Sol Elementary uses mindfulness to keep students kind and curious. All this and more coming up on First Bell. My name is Bobby Wagner from the Seattle Seahawks and you're watching the First Bell. Hey SBS, I'm Tolly Pratt. And I'm Max Scherzer. Thanks for tuning in to First Bell where we chime in with the news from around the district. The student takeover continues and we've got lots of news, so let's get into it. What's better than one surprise? How about three? Two school leaders and a group of seniors were on the receiving end of some impressive awards. Lillian Chong has the story. The Alliance for Education surprised the principals at Nathan Hale High School and West Seattle Elementary with $25,000. Then Amazon did one better by awarding $40,000 scholarships to six unsuspecting seniors. The Thomas B. Foster Award recognizes two outstanding SPS principals who have demonstrated success in advancing educational justice and racial equity in their school community. Students and staff at Nathan Hale and West Yale Elementary gathered in their gyms to watch their school leaders receive their surprise, a check for $25,000. Both leaders said the award was a testament to the hard work of their staff and their school's commitment to inclusion. This award is really significant and that I, we do focus on this. We focus on African-American male achievement. We focus on access for um, advanced course work for all students. To earn an award that verifies that work is, is really cool and I feel extremely grateful. I don't think there's any big eyes or little U's when it comes to work at West Seattle Elementary. We're truly united in our work. We value teamwork and I consider all of us as part of a team. At the Amazon Skill Center, six seniors were told they were representing SPS as student ambassadors for an Amazon-hosted panel discussion. They were then given a gift box that held a sweet treat, a $40,000 Amazon Future Engineer Scholarship. Each winner also receives a paid internship at Amazon after their freshman year of college. The surprise brought the students and audience to tears. Trying to like get everything sorted out and I saw this and I was just like, Everything went silent for a second because then I was like, what is this? $40,000. I was so excited and yeah, I couldn't, this is the best experience ever and I'm really, really grateful. Really grateful. This is Lillian Trung reporting from the Amazon Skill Center. Back to the studio. At Tops K-8 and Roosevelt High School, students can take American Sign Language classes, but the reward goes beyond earning class credits. Ely Malaki has the details. 10% of the deaf and hard of hearing students in SPS are sign language users, but more students are taking the class to enhance their communication skills. The immersive experience in the American Sign Language class at Roosevelt forces students to focus on listening with their eyes while talking with their hands. When Quinn Smiley first learned about the ASL program, she thought it would be interesting to communicate in a non-spoken language. It's completely silent 100% of the time, only signing. And it's really peaceful. And it's nice to be able to communicate with my hands and not have to say everything I'm thinking. Courtney Hill's daughter is a part of the deaf community and is learning ASL at Tops K3. It's proven to be a benefit for Hill's entire family. She uses it every day at school. She's taught her sister really well, has taught a bunch of her friends at her elementary school too. So it is an everyday part of our life now. At the high school level, students taking ASL can earn a world language credit and or CTE credit, both of which are a graduation requirement. While some students may be taking the class for credits, others are finding a different kind of benefit. Sophomore McKenna Couch said the ASL class has helped her make new friends. I have friends in other classes that are hard of hearing or deaf and I can like communicate to them on a pretty basic level and I feel like being that one person in the class that can communicate with them not through voicing makes it a deeper connection. Although Roosevelt and Tops K-8 through are the only schools with deaf and hard of hearing programs, Nova High School added ASL courses this year. This is Ely Malaki reporting from Roosevelt. Back to the studio. We're introducing you to unique programs and schools across the district in a new segment we like to call Show and Tell. We're kicking it off at Sanisil Elementary where they practice daily mindfulness. Make it. 
Mindfulness is the practice of being present in the moment with curiosity and compassion. Sanis Elementary has been practicing mindfulness for six years with the help of an organization called Space Between. The entire school spends five minutes a few times each day focusing on their breathing, listening, or feeling sensations. My favorite one is the rainstorm because it pumps more blood in your heart. I don't know how to describe it, but it like, feels peaceful. When I first started here at Santa Slow, the staff was uh, filling out behavior referrals. And after our first year of mindfulness, we noticed a 67% decrease in those referrals for behaviors. We just feel that it has made our community more welcoming. The practice allows students to center their minds and bodies and the results are positive all around. It feels good in my body. It makes me calm when I'm done feeling mad. I don't know, it just feels good. Mindfulness brings our entire school community together. If you want to practice mindfulness in your school, go to Space Between website. You don't want to miss these important announcements, so get ready for the rundown. If you're interested in having your student attend a school that is not their assigned school next year, the deadline to apply is May 31st. The end of the school year is approaching and you'll need to turn in your devices. Start looking for those laptops and chargers now. You don't have to get fined for your last items. Devices will be provided at the beginning of the school year. It's Walk and Bike to School Month. More than 30 schools are holding events by organizing daily bike and walking bus groups. You can see if your school is participating by visiting the district's website. It's time for my favorite part of the show, SBS Shoutouts. For Mental Health Awareness Month, we are shouting out the SPS Mental Health Team. These superstars work hard every day to ensure students, staff, and families have the resources they need to succeed. SPS is lucky to have you. Before we go, we want to send a heartfelt thanks to all the teachers around the district. Even though Teacher Appreciation Week has come and gone, we love our teachers year-round. Thank you for all you do for your students. You can find our tribute to teachers on all SPS social media channels. That's it for this episode. If you want to learn more about these stories, visit our website. Until next time, I'm Max Scherzer. And I'm Talia Pratt. We'll catch you later for First Bell.